Today, we're going to talk about the greatest show on television in Utah. Um, Utah? Utah? Actually, Utah's here. If you ask people about the state of Utah and what they know about it, you might get a few answers. The Great Salt Lake, skiing maybe, the Bonneville Salt Flats, but you'll mostly get told there's a lot of Mormons. About a third of America's Mormons, or LDS, Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints, live in Utah. Utah's about 60% Mormon. It's one of only two states that have more than 10% Mormon. Idaho has 19. And is one of 11 states where more than 60% of people are religious at all. With apologies to Utah Valley, there's three major universities in the state of Utah. The University of Utah, Utah State University, and Brigham Young University, named after the second president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You can guess which university we will be talking about today. The university estimates that 99% of its student body is Mormon, and it has its own TV channel on local television and on the internet where you can find the greatest show on television in Utah, Random Acts. There's me back five years Carried to an end your We don't even have time to practice. We just have to run it because they're walking in right now. I follow the Random Acts is what they call a positive prank show, and the happy-go-lucky Mormons that run the show have the belief that if people are given the chance, they will do good and help each other. Well, let's hope the Mormons aren't litigious. Let this video stay up and dive into Random Acts. Okay, so the show is in three parts. It starts off with a small little prank on random people. Then they'll show our person of the week. Then we cut to our host just doing random good deeds around town. And then we go back to the prank on the person of the week. Some of the small pranks are things like one of the hosts will be tubing on a mountain and pretend she's scared to go alone. Person. Today, people are going to help me go tubing, and I'm going to make them waffles. Can I have one? No, I'm sorry, I've already promised it. To who? Myself. Excuse me, have you guys done this before? Do you guys know how to go down, like, safely? So you don't, like, go over the, is it super scary? Because people are generally nice, and even though they don't know they're being recorded, every single person either offers advice, reassurances, or suggest themselves that she tube down the hill with their group. It's not that bad. If you drag your feet, you'll go slower. If you want, you can come with us. We can do girl points together if you'd like. Or, like, you can go down with us and stuff. For real? Yeah. yeah. You want to come down with us? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. That's really nice of you. So where's the prank in this? Well, as she's walking up the hill, she casually mentions the waffle truck at the bottom. And when they get down, there's waffles ready for everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so worth it! Ryan? Who's Ryan? I'm Ryan. Oh, here, but, there you um, go. Why? Caitlin? <laughs> Caitlin? Sure. Jackson? There you go. Enjoy. Nice. Is it the fried eye of nice the Do you know who that's from? It's from me. I'm a host on the TV show called Random Acts, and you're on that TV show. 
Friday. We'd like to say thank you to people who are just naturally good Samaritans. Oh, Happy right. to do it. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that went perfectly. Let's go find another. Come on, Tuberto. Nice and simple. No one feels taken advantage of. No one feels stupid. Everyone gets a nice laugh, a warm waffle, and has fun. Sometimes they will do pranks you've seen on other prank shows, like have a guy pretend to be a girl's boyfriend when her actual boyfriend doesn't show up. Instead of asking embarrassing sex questions, on this show, they give the guy a chance to compliment her and say nice things. For one episode, they had a bride and groom sit around in a park, but their witness didn't show up, so they need somebody to witness their wedding. Instead of what a standard prank show would do and have a drunk guy show up and break stuff, they sing their favorite song, which just happens to be the theme song of the TV show. Oh, 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 oh I want to spend, spend a lifetime, lifetime with you. you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. You and I will we'll go, go with, with the flow. flow. Oh, 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 you're on a hidden camera show. Oh, oh there he is. You are the kind person here <laughs> witnessing, <laughs> witnessing. Our shenanigans. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> we now pronounce you good, good Samaritans. Samaritans. Right on. Despite the show being ran by the LDS church, religion is almost never mentioned. The only times I remember it being referenced at all is two episodes ago, there was a girl that they mentioned she was her on her mission, and twice they brought in the school's a cappella groups, the men to a senior center posing as maintenance workers, and the women to a maternity ward posing as a film crew, who sing religious songs. The like the watchmen, is the sun going down. Darkness made over Angusta, the gist of the little pranks. Last night they knocked on people's doors and gave them free dry cleaning or they went to the women's marketing summit and you played a game. If you won your prize was you got to give someone a cupcake or flowers and do a good deed. Now for the big pranks. These focus on one person who's nominated by a friend or family member because they're either helping the community, or overcoming adversity. I grabbed four episodes, two from season one and two from season three. They are a lunch lady whose house burnt down, a girl who missed graduation because of her medical problems, a outdoor enthusiast who became paralyzed and now can't enjoy the outdoors, and a piano player who lost her hand in a shop class accident.
not always this way, but usually the prank part of the prank show is twofold. They'll go to the person's work or school or whatever and say, Hey, uh, is so-and-so here? I really need to talk to them. And then, boom, you're on a TV show and we're going to give you a great day. We're going to go quilt shopping or you're going to spend a day with your family doing an escape room. Or we're going to bring you to a mobility park for handicapped people to enjoy the outdoors. Or you're going to get tickets to this piano concert. Are you Michelle? My name's Aaron. I'm from the Department of Random Acts. We got a report about you from the Lewis family. Yes. Uh, yeah, they said that you had a rough time recently and they wanted to see if we could help. We heard that you're a big quilter. Yes. But that you lost all your quilts and all your supplies recently in your home fire. So uh, I'll tell you, we've already talked to your employer, talked to your bosses, talked to your family. We've covered everything. You're not, you're not doing lunch today. You're coming with us. And we're taking you on a shopping trip. Does that sound good? What? Yeah. <laughs> we're getting you all new stuff today. Does that sound like something you want to do? Oh my gosh. Yeah? I would love it. But... Everybody's in on it. Everybody's in on it. We got it all covered. Hey you guys. Hi. Welcome, welcome. We're the King family. We are. Officer. Come on in. Awesome. Alright. Welcome to Escape. Watch yourself. Um, Timer starts. You wanna close the door? Um, I have a huge driveway in Park City, and I was told I need to get something like a skid skier or something. Skid steer? Yeah. Maybe, that's it. Do you want to come out and like check this spot out? Check out the whole place. But we just forget about the whole site survey. We'll bring your family out. We'll all just go out, grab some dinner, and have a good time over in Park City. How about that? I, 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 right now, I want to go just like right now. We'll bring your family out. I mean, they're right here if you want to. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> I really shouldn't eat this whole thing. I really shouldn't. I'll help you. Is that enough hot sauce? Okay. Thanks, Kiara. Um, she did you just. Wait, what did she say? What? Oh, it's what? Kiara and Eden. Oh! Oh my gosh, I didn't even see Eden over there. We were going to see you in a little bit, actually. Yeah. yeah we're going to tour the event center. Have you not heard about this? <laughs> no. No one's told you about the tour? What tour? Are you serious? You guys don't know about that? No. You've heard of Random Acts, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so great because you're actually on it right now. There's a camera right over there. With the first part of the trick done, there's the second prank. All these nice things of concert tickets, in shopping sprees are just a ploy to get the person where they want them to be to reveal the big prank. A shopping spree at your local Joanne Fabrics would be nice, but not as nice as a trip to the Mecca of Quilting, Hamilton, Missouri, to meet Quilting's Oprah. Quilting has an Oprah. Hmm. And we actually don't want it to end yet, so we have something really special for you. More? Uh, more. <laughs> so Bernina actually has donated a new Bernina oh for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, now I can sew. Now you can sew. So all the fabric you're buying, you can actually put together. Wow. You know, and also um, Baby Lock is going to give you an embroidery machine. It will come directly to your house. Isn't that the coolest thing? Isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> That's like what I had. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> a day out with your family, going to an escape room and getting away from your worries is nice, but having your entire senior class throw a private graduation ceremony for you is a little bit better. Okay! We usually have people walk backwards across the threshold so you can see all of the work that you've done. Oh, I love it! Just keep your eyes on me. There we go. You did such a wonderful job. Thanks. And you deserve this.
could give the guy a day out with his family, let him go skiing and rock climbing for the first time in years, or you could do that and also upgrade his vehicle to be fully handicap accessible and make his ATV wheelchair accessible. Well, that nominated you. Also wanted to take care of your car, so what we did was we took out all your old hand controls and we replaced them with a huge upgrade, electronic hand controls. Oh man. So you don't have to worry about that. Your dad knew about it too. Uh, he wants you to know just how proud he is of you and he didn't want to miss this either, so he's here as well. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> I go get him. Why are you here? I came to take you for a ride. <laughs> so I want to drive. We know yeah. how much you love yeah. uh, the outdoors, so we took this ATV, we hooked it up so you can carry a wheelchair. We got hand controls in here too, so you're able to drive the ATV yourself. Dude! <laughs> Thank you. And I think you know where I'm going with this last one. Getting to go to a concert and meet the band is pretty cool. Being able to play with the band, that's pretty awesome an incredible spirit to this girl and she got up on stage and she's like how do you do this play in front of all these people and in my head I was thinking why don't we have you try <laughs> what do you say we kick this surprise up a notch and have Kiara come jam with John on the stage come on up Kiara come on just a small taste of things they have done on the show. They started off by giving a woman who can't walk a driveway so she can be more mobile. Uh, they've rebuilt houses, backyards, children's play areas, bedrooms, redone entire apartments, bought people apartments, cars, all sorts of stuff. Tons of landscapers and concrete companies donate their time to help these people do all these great acts and it's such a fantastic show all the episode names are puns uh, quilting life back together congratulations over holiday and grand cameo for this for the ones I showed you this time if you enjoy yourself a good happy cry once in a while this is a show for you so, what is a Mormon prank show? Doing nice deeds, being good to people, holding up signs that say, have a great day, and dropping your wallet on purpose, and if they pick it up, you give them 20 bucks. Just fun little things to show there is good in people. And on the plus side, every episode ends in a dance party. So, who wouldn't like that? I'll put all the links down in the description. Uh, you can see the shorter videos I use for this on YouTube and the full episodes on BYU TV. Check it out. It's a great show. Thank you for watching. And as always, I shall try to do better next time and possibly review another Mormon reality show. <laughs>